Many children around the world do not have access to state education. It's the hard work of dedicated fundraisers and voluntary organisations at home and abroad that is helping to plug the gap in schooling for underprivileged children and their families. Cementing Futures is focusing on helping with this task in Bangladesh. Cementing Futures and its current project was brought into being by members of Sir Optimus International of Bournemouth, which is part of a women's organisation with over 90,000 members in 127 countries worldwide who have a wealth of experience in distributing funds and supporting projects across the globe. The country is situated in a vast river delta. Each year, floods cause loss of crops, homes and loss of life. Farmland is lost to land erosion with over 500,000 rural workers a year migrating to the cities looking for work. The population in Dhaka is now estimated at over 16 million. There are 74 slum districts in Dhaka housing over 2.6 million people. Over half of these are children. It is the low-lying farmlands of the Bangladesh Plain that are being lost to erosion caused by flooding and tropical storms. With the land being washed away or flooded, there is less protection from cyclones that sweep in from the sea every year during the monsoon season. These storms cause destruction of crops, as well as destroying farming communities and spreading diseases. Add to this the devastation caused to the economy by the loss of farming revenue and the migration of workers to the main cities, it is no wonder that the state education system is unable to cope with the demands. Additionally, families must find the money to cover the cost of uniforms, textbooks and travel to and from the school, which the poorest families are simply unable to afford. This is Mahmoud. He is 11 years old and came to the city from a rural area. Mahmoud is unable to attend school because he does farm work to help with the family income. He is only paid £5 per month for working seven hours per day. This lack of education in the poorest classes is widespread and the need to send children to work is high as they bring in much needed income to help the family. However, this removes their chance to improve themselves and break free from this never-ending cycle of poverty and the lack of opportunity that it brings. Local non-governmental organisations like Sir Optimus International of Dhaka and educational organisation Jirushiki have been working successfully with slum communities to provide education for their children. In order to limit the financial hardship to the poorest families, Najira Shiki offer two hours schooling a day so the children can still work and contribute to the family income. As well as learning basic numeracy and literary skills, the children are taught social and vocational skills to improve their job prospects. They are also working with parents, teaching them the benefits of education and home skills like health and hygiene to help stem the diseases that can spread through slum housing. How many people do you think live in the slums here? Thousands and thousands of people are living here. Okay. And what sort of infrastructure is there? I mean, there's no running water, pumped water, is there? Uh, no, I think here they buy water from some places. I saw that there is some electricity coming to there. Do they have to pay for this? Yes. yes. For electricity, they have to pay. Right, and, and I was, somebody told me that they actually share the cost of the electricity. So they might have one television between about five or six families. Yes, they can share or they have individual. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sam, they don't own this property at all. No, they're, no, no, they're no, all, no. They're all squatting here. I had room. They are one hired room. Rooms. Yes, one room. So, so they, pay, they pay to live here. Yes. They're not squatters. Pleased to no. meet you as well. How much do they pay for that? Twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, or two thousand in Bangladeshi taka. And that's that per month. Per month. That means twelve pound or fifteen pound or twenty pound per month. So if you're only earning twelve pounds a month, yes. and it's costing them twelve pounds. Yes. It costs eight pounds to send a child to school. Yes. Where they don't really have enough money to be living. Yes. Yes. They yes. Can't that is why they are very yeah. suffering yeah. very much. Yes, that this is the this is the reason why they are so poor. Look, look at the look at the children. They are very poor. Child. This is the poorest class. This is Mosamat. She is the mother in a family of five. Her husband Mohammed is a rickshaw puller. Their family home and land was lost to river erosion so they were forced into the city to find work. Mohammed's mother also lost her home, so she is also staying with them, which has enabled Mosamat to work as a domestic helper, bringing the combined monthly income for this family to £45 a month. Is it, you've got one room, one room, and this is where you all are living. Yes. Yeah. 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 Where, where do the children play? The regular outgoings each month are house rent, £6, cost of food, £20, baby food, £5, electricity, £3, fuel cost, £2, clothing, £5. This leaves a surplus of only £4 per month to cover emergencies such as medicines, health and dental treatment, which is not provided by the state. <laughs> this is Yasmin, aged 10 years, and her brother Sahib, 4 years. They both attend free schooling provided by Najira Shiki. One of the biggest problems faced by local organisations is the lack of permanent premises. In a visit to Soroptimus International of Dhaka two years ago, Soroptimus members from Bournemouth found the local Najira Shiki school operating from two large rooms. On this latest trip, the landlord had cut that in half so he could rent the space to a carpentry business and a dry cleaners. Apart from the added disruption to classes caused by the continuous noise from the carpentry business, there were also the added problems of chemical fumes from the dry cleaners. Because the rooms used by Najira Shiki are rented, storage isn't available for school supplies and the short-term lets mean that they are unable to use furniture. The children are taught sitting on canvas sheets on the concrete floor. Cementing Futures is raising £300,000 that will build a purpose-built school offering children from the poorest families the chance to learn in a safe, clean environment. You can help us to achieve this in a variety of ways. You can donate money to our charity. You can hold a fundraising event, however big or small. And you can help raise awareness of our charity by encouraging your friends and family to visit our website, www.cementingfutures.org. These children need our help. They are bright, hardworking, but do not have the opportunities that have been offered to us. What would you like to be? Doctor, 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 doctor,